Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm so grateful you're here with me today. And welcome to Art Exploration with Jessica from Color Me Creative, Kelly from Kelly Chassis Fine Art, and me from Indigo Jade Art, where every month in 2020 we are taking a deeper dive and exploring a new color. All three of us met as online teachers, and we just love teaching and exploring new mediums. This month, we're exploring lime green and how beautiful and bright and joyful it can be in your paintings. You can also participate in our monthly challenge and dive in a bit more with us in our private Facebook group. The link to join is listed below. Okay, let's get started with this month's project that I'm sharing. It is going to be so much fun. It's wonky and whimsical, and we are going to paint this super fun cactus. Cactuses are super easy to paint, especially when you're creating a really whimsical look like this. And the all the different hues of green make it just super, super fun. So let's take a quick look at the supplies. I have the color that we are focusing on this month is lime green. So I have phthalo yellow green from Daniel Smith. Now, you can pull any kind of yellowish green from your watercolor sets. You're just going to be looking for a green that is non-traditional and it has a little bit more yellow in it and it's uh, very limey and bright. I also have Cascade Green, which is a little bit of a darker green. I'm using Opera Rose, which is a brighter pink, and I have a Thalo Blue, which is just a bright blue. I have my um microfiber towel. I have a number six, no, number four round brush here. You just need one brush for this whole project and some water. So I have a free download and illustration for the cactus so that you don't have to draw it yourself, but it really is super simple, just kind of some circles here. But the free download and illustration is uh, link is listed below. Okay, let's talk about the lime green color that we're going to be using in the cactus painting. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch out this phthalo yellow green and talk a little bit about yellow green colors. I'm also going to swatch out the cascade green. Um, if you have been watching other videos and tutorials of mine, I've been sharing Cascade Green quite a bit. I did share it in the Luna Moth tutorial if you did watch that. So here's Thalo Yellow Green, and you can see that it is a really super bright, almost kind of neon color. It has a, quite a bit of yellow in it um, to just kind of jack up the vibrancy there. The Cascade Green that I'm going to use uh, and that I often use is a nice uh, contrast green to the phthalo yellow. But when it dries, it has some yellow and turquoisey blue qualities to it. So it makes a nice companion color to the phthalo yellow green. So I'm just loving these two colors together and they're gonna be super simple for our cactus. So let's move on to painting the whimsical cactus. So I have, the cactus illustration just sketched out here on my piece of watercolor paper. And I am using 100% cotton watercolor paper. You can use whatever watercolor paper you have in your stash, but I'm using the 100% cotton watercolor paper. Um, this is this particular brand is the Arches brand, but there are lots of different watercolor papers that are 100% cotton. Uh, 300 pound cold press that you can use. Now I am painting, I first went into that bottom circle in the cactus and painted the whole thing with water. So the technique that we're going to be doing predominantly throughout the whole tutorial here is wet into wet. So I wet the paper first and now I'm just dropping in the color. And I clean my brush in between and then you can see there's like a little tinge of that yellow green there. I've kind of pulled in a little tighter so that you can see 
um, a little bit more of a close-up. So I'm just dropping in that phthalo yellow green into the wet areas. So painting in with water first and then dropping in that phthalo yellow green to get that first wash of color into the painting here. And this technique is super simple. It's very forgiving. And also remember that watercolor only wants to go where the water is. So you can see how the watercolor is not like moving outside of the lines because I don't have water there. So it's just staying where the water is. And I'm just applying more color over top of what I've already done. Now the whole process here is wet, so I haven't let it dry in between. We're gonna do that in a few minutes. But right now I'm just getting in that first wash of watercolor and just letting it just kind of play with each other together there and just mesh together. So really first layer of watercolor. Okay, now I'm gonna move on. While that top part is um, drying. I'm going to move on to painting that wonky cactus pot that's at the bottom. I've got a little bit of that phthalo blue that I'm just painting in and just following the illustration lines that I have here. Now, no worries about your lines being perfectly straight. We really do want it to be kind of wonky. So just go ahead and paint them in. And again, I did a little bit of that wet and wet technique. I just painted water down first and then dropped the watercolor in where I had painted my water lines. So I'm just dropping a little bit more color in here and I'm going to let it dry. And you can see that it's just kind of bleeding. It bled a little bit into the green and that's okay. You can let it, let it roll. I just let it just kind of seep in there a little bit. And that's the beauty of watercolor. You just kind of let it flow all over our painting and it just creates a really nice whimsical look and feel. Okay. So now the top part of my cactus is dry. So I'm going to work towards painting that second layer in a bit of a darker color. So I'm using Cascade Green. You can use whatever darker green that you have because we're just adding um, in a little bit of shading around our circles. And you can see that the circles in the cactus, I'm just adding a touch in between where the two, where the cactus meets the other part of the cactus. And I'm just dropping in a little bit around the top edges, just to create a little bit of contrast and a variety in the look of this cactus. And it looks kind of messy, but that's okay. We're really just letting that watercolor flow into each other and get a little bit of a variation in color. So I pulled in a little bit tighter here so that you can see it's starting to dry and I'm just kind of coaxing that cascade green around into a couple areas. Now I'm just gonna hit it with my heat tool here and dry it. I want it to be really, really dry before I move on to the next layers. Now let's talk a little bit about painting the flowers. We're going to paint the flowers with the brush and just use the brush to create the bloom for the flowers. And you can totally do this with just the belly of the brush. So you can see that I've got the tip of the brush and then I just bend the brush down and use the whole belly of the brush to create the petal. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this around all three of the little flower blooms that we have for our cactus here. And you can round them out and add a little bit of detail once you've used the whole brush to just create that little petal that just kind of makes that whimsical flower come to life. And I just love it in that opera rose. That opera rose color is so bright. Okay, so we're going to add some details to that wonky pot. Now that it's dry, I'm just going back in the painting is dry, my brush is wet, and I've got a little, I'm just loading a bit of that watercolor blue pigment onto my brush, and I'm just adding in another layer of color just for detail. So we get some contrast between our lights and our darks in that blue pot. And I'm not tidying it up and making it less wonky. We're just gonna keep it wonky. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to adding the background. And I've added in some lemon yellow and I'm just gonna work right from the tube here. So you just need a bright yellow to add in your background. And I'm going around the entire painting. And again, this technique is gonna be wet into wet. I'm painting the around the edges with water first and then dropping in that lemon yellow color and kind of just coaxing it around into the water. And I just love this technique. It just adds um, a little bit of extra whimsy to the whole painting. It also helps create a bit of dimension and texture to your painting. So the cactus and the pot and the flowers are kind of like moving forward and we've got that background so we get some dimension in our painting and it really just dials up the whimsy and it's just so super simple you're just painting in with water first and then you're just dropping in that color and letting it flow into the water you can coax it around you can take away it um, some of the color if you have too much but I really just love this. It's just a great way to add a little bit of dimension to your painting. Okay, so now I've let my entire project dry and we're going to move on to adding the details into the cactus. So this is going to be super simple. I've just got the tip of my brush and I'm dipping it into my cactus green. You're going to want to use your darker green and we're just gonna do three little flicks to create the texture in the cactus. And these would be our little thorns that kind of show up in a cactus, um, the little pricklies uh, that show up in our cactus. So you're just going to nest a bunch of three little flicks around your painting in that darker green, just to add a little bit of detail to this painting. And it's whimsical and you really just don't need to worry about your placement, just kind of place them around where you feel it would look fun and just wonky and whimsical and just have fun with it. So you can see I'm painting them real quick. I'm just kind of flick, 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 and adding in that detail. And it really just does dial up the whole painting. It adds a lot of whimsy, whimsy to it. And it also just um, creates all that detail and extra texture in the look and feel here. So I'm just taking a little bit of water and I'm just kind of adding and blending out some of that darker colors and just kind of fidgeting a little bit with my contrast of color here just to finish it off. Okay, so my final finish before we finish out this project is the splatter. And I'm going to take some of the opera rose and my brush is really, really wet and I'm adding some pigment and I'm just splattering it down onto the entire painting. And there's some areas of the painting that are still wet. So that splatter is spreading in the water and just kind of giving it that really, really washy, watercolory look, and I just love that. Splatter is just so much fun. Okay, let's take a final look at our cactus. This project was so much fun. It comes together super, super quick, and it's just, you could use it, uh, make a card out of it, you could put it in a frame, you could put it in your art journal. It's just a really, really fun way to explore yellow greens and just have some fun creating a painting. I hope you enjoyed today's art exploration tutorial. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel and head on over to Kelly and Jessica's channels to subscribe and watch their color exploration for this month as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.